I'm committed to playing the music that I like to listen to. And what that means to me is that I'm gonna use the cello to play black music. Um, as a matter of fact, on this third album I'm toying with, I'm excited about the idea. I'm excited about exploring the idea of playing some go-go uh, on my instrument. And um, that's different. And to me, it's not only different, but I think it's important. It's doing a couple things. One, it's challenging people's assumptions and stereotypes about what is black or what is white. Um, it's black if I'm doing it, to borrow a phrase from the director of photography for um, uh, this particular thing that you're watching. But the reality is that, you know, black people have made contributions to classical music, both as composers, but but specifically the music of the 20th century is very much influenced by jazz. The classical music of the 20th century is influenced by jazz scales, by jazz idioms, by jazz stories. Um, and jazz is essentially the creation of black people in the United States. Um, and I like being a representation of that. I like the fact that my investment in jazz is rooted both in the classical world and in the jazz world. Um, I also like you know, you know, to what degree, I'm not sure that this is especially like revolutionary or, or um, challenging, but I just, I also don't believe in the idea that there's anything that I'm not allowed to do. Um, and uh, I'm not going to allow anyone's expectations of what's white, what's black to kind of keep me from doing something. Um, so not only will I play the cello, but I will use the cello to play funk and go-go and people will like it. Um, and they'll like it because I do. So um, it's a big part of my identity and I think it's a big part of the work that I wanna leave for the world.